Yeah, I know, Darby. We shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> yep, he did the 80s in the AI system. So why not do 90 shows? <laughs> yeah, I know. Did you watch his? What fucking shows were he watching? Ugh, I don't know. All right, so Hawkboy did another AI thing. He put in 90 show. He did a video on it. He's way off on everything. So the Misfits coming in to make the video better and make it right. <laughs> oh, yeah, Darby's here, too. I guess he's going to help out. All right, so... <laughs> what? Oh, shit, what is it? Oh, my God, it's picture to picture, Darby. And a picture picture was a thing in the 90s where you were watching one show, and then you could, like, look at another show, but it didn't have volume. So, like, you know, when you're watching commercials and shit. Yeah, I know. All right, all right, let, let me let me change that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'll fix Hold on, I'm going to fix it. You know how many remotes I have? It's the 90s. Jeez, we have a lot of remotes. Ah! Coach, it, it, it's 2023, man. We all have phones on us. Yeah, man. Like, woo, woo. How am I going to keep all my Instabook followers in the loop if I don't have a phone on me all the time? Woo, woo. Yo, man, I've been live streaming the whole time we've been down here. Know what I mean? <sighs> yeah, I think we're back. I, all right. All right. I got, the, I, I got the remote thing figured out. Let, let, let's just get to the video, okay? We wasted way too much time on that. I know. Anyways, all right. In the red, Hawkboy has, or his AI has, uh, Top of the Heap. Uh, orange is watchable. Um, chow me. Chow me. Chow. Is that like chow me? Did you just make a... What is a... What? Yeah, I, I get it. It's a Chinese joke, but what's that have to do with 90s TV? I don't know. All right. Uh, terrible tedious, and uh, go away now. All right. Let's start off with... Buffett the Vampire Slayer. Believe it or not, I didn't like it. No, I wasn't into that. I wasn't into Charmed. I wasn't into any of those, you know, WB trying to cash in on the, you know, the goth culture bullshit. I know, that's why we got Twilight. But no, I'm not a fan of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So no. Oh, well. You know what? All right, I'll just get this out of the way. Fuck sexes. Come on. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we're not even getting into sex in the city. Stupid, stupid, beyond stupid, stupid. All right. Uh, let's go into something I actually do like. Um. Uh, da 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 I loved Bart Simpson. I was a kid at the time, you know. But the more and more goes on, it got sucky. It, I can't stand it now. Same with Family Guy and all that stuff. I don't like any of that. Okay, Boss Burgers kicks ass. Yeah, I do like Boss Burgers. Anyway, let's go uh, ER. ER, don't give a shit about ER. Stupid, stupid drama. Just boom. Yep, yep, I know he's Batman. I ain't saying that. That's a spoiler. Anyways, um, Sopranos. Again, didn't like the Sopranos. Uh, yeah, I actually really despised it. Thought it was crap. It, it's, yeah, I mean, no, uh, we can't do the ending like that to, to this video. That would be, that would be too, too spot on. You, I know, I mean, when they just caught off of that. Got you. That wasn't the ending. Uh, all right. Anyways, uh, X Files. Eh, put in Charmaine. I like alien stuff, but find it kind of boring. Um. All right. Let's go to this. Friends. Piece of shit. Seinfeld. Piece of shit. These two were the worst things to ever come on television, ever. They suck. They're horrible. Jerry Seinfeld's not a funny person at all. Nobody in the cast of Friends is funny at all. The only person I found funny in Seinfeld, yeah, he kind of destroyed his career. So, <sighs> let's go to happier things. Let's go to West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground. It's where I spent most of my days. It is on the top of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, 
was the shit. It was one of the greatest shows of the 90s. Yes, loved it. Carlton was great. Hawkboy thinks there's not one likable character. Every single fucking character in that show is extremely likable. Uncle Phil was the shit. He was hard when he needed to be, but caring when he needed to be. Carlton had such growth from a spoiled little brat into somebody that could be a man with Will's help. He got to be, you know, more of a hard ass to take care of herself. I mean, Hillary was a whiny little daddy's girl, still stayed that kind of way, but she had growth and actually became a better person. Everybody in that show was great. I mean, come on, Jeffrey. Jeffrey was the wise old butler that would give you advice. I mean, everybody, Jazz, Jazz thrown out of the house every day was a funny running joke. Loved it. Anyways, yeah, fuck you, Hawk Boy. There was a lot of growth and a lot of great characters on the show. Every character was lovable. Anyways, and then yeah, what the hell, Hawkboy? This was the best show in the 90s. Frasier was great. Oh, baby, I hear the blues are calling, toss salad and scrambled eggs. Fuck yeah, man. They took a fucking show from a great 80s TV show and then made a 90s TV show of it with a character you didn't expect to be able to hold his own show, and he did. And it was great. And he did callbacks, and it was amazing. And it was a funny ass show. Yes. The AI does not know shit about what shows are good. Because I'll tell you what's not on this list, Darby. What don't you fucking see, Darby? That's right. There's no Baywatch. Again, David Hasselhoff is not on the list. So you know what? The AI can shove it up and suck. Does it have an ass? Well, I guess not. The AI is just, uh, out there in the cloud. Anyways, if the AI had an ass, it could shove this list up. There's no David Hasselhoff represented. There's no Baywatch. And they put on fucking look at the look at our bottom list. These shows suck. You know what? Fuck this AI list. Fuck the AI and Hawk Boy. You know what? Ugh. You gotta get together, man. You know what? Hasselhoff be with you. And Darby. All right, Firebuds, you've won $11,000. Now you can take that home, or you can risk it all for what's behind the curtain. Uh, um, um, I'm gonna take the curtain, Kink. All right, Mindy, please show them what's behind the curtain. Yes, Firebuds, you've won a free like, share, or subscribe to Misfit Cartoon Studios. Aw, oh, yee, yee, ha. Wait, wait, what? Wait. Wait, I gave up $11,000 to subscribe to a YouTube channel? And it was worth every penny! And everyone out there should do the same. Like, subscribe, and share Misfit Cartoons! I'm Cake Murdoch.